evening everyone sg caper here doing some painting something a little different tonight uh, i'm working on this guy i did not come up with this idea and i don't remember who did at this point but it's a jurassic park uh, dinosaur with the build the figure sauron arms arms and wings and I'm finally going to paint it up. It's been primed, as always, in Games Workshop Primer, uh, Chaos Black. And what I did for the arms, I'm sure someone will ask, is I sliced them, and I had to shave down the peg inside. And I opened up the hole in the joint here, so that I can kind of get them in there. It's not super tight. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. The person I saw originally do it did something where like they removed them and it involved screws and washers and things like that. Screws and washers and things. And I wasn't going to do that because I'm lazy. So I'm going to paint it up. Uh, my desk is a mess like always. And... Because of how big this is, I position the camera higher. So once I actually sit down, I'm not going to be able to see where I'm shooting. So hopefully this all stays in relatively in the frame. And I can show you how I paint it. Uh, always using my Citadel colors. Starting with Citadel Lauren. Forest Citadel Layer Lauren Forest. I did think about leaving it black because I, I do like the look, but I felt like that was kind of a, a cop out, like a, and just an easy way to get out of it. So, yeah, I am gonna paint it. So let's get painting. Hopefully, I'm gonna move these figures just to give myself some more room. Let's get to it. I'm going to use a bigger brush. This is just a big old 5 8 brush. I don't know if you can see it. And let's start on these wings. I don't want to fill them in completely because I'm going to be doing multiple layers. I kind of want some of this black to show through. First layer, like all my figures, not that important to me. Because there's so much is going to happen to it. side the sculpting on these wings is awesome they did a really good job the veins and the detail the little tears they're, they're really really good it's not taking a lot of paint to do this uh, because I'm, I'm I want it to go on thin Just a little bit more. Okay. Wing part one. Put that to the side to dry. Let's start wing part two. I don't know if 
if you've noticed, but I don't really edit my videos. I just kind of record. I don't write a script or anything. Considering most of my videos are just me painting it, and it's one of my, I feel like writing a script is, for this is just, it's as absurd as writing a script for a fishing show. Don't get me wrong, I love fishing shows. Something fun about watching watching good fishing shows like River Monsters or things like that. Jeremy Wade. Those guys watching them get paid to travel the world fishing. I miss my calling in life. This is probably going to be one of my longer videos just because of the size of this figure. And one of the reasons I finally decided to do this is I also finally painted a giant Cthulhu that I had backed on Kickstarter. It came in neon green and I painted it all kinds of cool greens and I really like the way it came out. Gonna try to something a little similar with this. Uh, I'm not going for accurate, especially since we don't know what colors dinosaurs were. They probably all had feathers, and well, this isn't a real dinosaur. So that's all there is to that. It's got some hair on it. Try to leave these back scales black, so I'm gonna not be too crazy about getting them. It doesn't have to be super fancy because there's going to be more layers to it. So I'm not going for precise here. Keep going. <clears throat> Painting big things always stresses me out, whether it's vehicles or that Cthulhu statue. I had it for, I don't know, I think a year before I finally painted it. I had this lying around probably about a year. Because they always feel so overwhelming. So much detail in the sculpts and just the time. 
but if you remind yourself that it's a hobby and you're supposed to be having fun, you can take off some of that pressure and anxiety, at least for me. And I can't really screw it up. It's, it's mine. And as I've said in other videos, it's just paint, so I can, I can fix it. I'm going to have to do something about this joint later. Okay, this one's really loose compared to the other one. I might have shaved that peg a little too much, and now it's too much room. What I might fix would be with probably a little uh, hot glue. And put it, uh, put it in the joint, and then when I stick the peg in, it'll tighten that up a little bit. At least that's the idea, but I'm going to try later. Yeah, you see how loose that is? It's crazy loose. Swing. Took it out of the camera. I was trying to see, make sure I'm getting it all. Hard to see uh, with the way I'm working. I can't really get close enough to it. All right. So far, so good. on these legs. Sometimes when I paint or draw, I think of uh, Commander Mark. I don't know how many of you remember The Secret City. It's a PBS show early in the morning. This guy would come on and he would draw, teach you how to draw three dimensions that was his big push and I love that show I, I in fact I've used it as a teaching tool for my own students who have struggled um, and it's really helped them you know use little clips from it and bought a couple of his books and you know, whatever works works right I'm trying to get kids to participate and be active and learn new skills, especially when it comes to art. Uh, I love it. Point is, when he would draw, he would make noises. And so I do that sometimes. I don't think I've really done it on any of these videos because I'm recording them and it's already dorky enough what I'm doing. Legs. Let's get these legs going. I'm going to leave. 
painting the nails black, so I'm not going to worry about painting them so much. Uh, don't forget the bottoms of the feet. They're going to come along pretty good. The other leg. I've been watching a few videos myself on different techniques I've been practicing and trying, and every time I watch them, everybody wears gloves. I don't, so I guess and whoever else, guys, girls. Uh, you gotta look at my messed up hands. I have gloves, they're downstairs. I have a lot of gloves actually. Just don't care the oils in my fingers mixing with the paint and yada 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 and leaving fingerprints and I just don't care. Maybe that makes me a bad customizer, I don't know. Okay. Basically that first layer is done. that was the Citadel Lauren Citadel Layer Lauren Forest. <sighs> On top of that I think I'm gonna go with a little Citadel base Death World Death World Forest. This is a base, so it should have gone on first, but I don't care. I'm putting it on now. See how it goes. Remove this so it can dry. Go back to the wings. how well that shows up on the camera but that looks pretty cool I like it I'm 
essentially dry brushing it on. Uh, just trying to get some of the raised stuff to pick up that color. And this will all be done with a wash at the end, which is going to change everything. Uh, but hopefully, you'll still be able to see the difference in the, the values. Let those dry. And let's go back to the big one. All right, here we go. Don't have a lot to say tonight. Birthday's coming up. We're gonna go on camping. We were we camp a lot for my birthday, but we usually go to a campsite. This time I don't want to go to a campsite. I want to go backcountry camping. I like going into the backcountry. I usually go solo or with uh, a buddy. My My wife has decided she no longer really likes going backcountry camping with me. She wants more comfort. Uh, and I, you know, whatever. I don't mind sleeping out in the dirt and whatever. I usually bring a tent or a hammock. But for my birthday, my Wife and daughter both said they would go, so we might do that. Who knows? It's gonna be 43. Honestly, I didn't think I'd make it this far. But here I am, painting videos for you. Because this is an essential, this is essentially a dry brush, you don't have to freak out and again get try for total coverage. It's just getting the high points. That's what dry brushing does. Uh, and you should never freak out when you're painting anyway. I guess if you still paint on the floor and ruin your rug, that that might be a good reason, but not when you're painting figures. Because you can let it dry, try again. Let it dry, try again. You can even remove paint if you need to. Don't forget the bottoms of the feet. Yep, that's right. Even when I'm dry brushing, I'm going to try to get the bottoms of the feet. Uh, why not? Not going to hurt.
Okay. Let's do the tail. side of the tail. Now I'm just going to look for places I think I need to fill in. Places I might have missed, places that could use a little highlight. this size there's probably a lot of places I missed and that's okay all right there's that oh. okay now That's a shade lighter. I do not. What I'm going to do is over on the side here, I'm going to mix a little bit of this green. And I think I'm going to go with a little bit of brown. Uh, let's go with a tan. I'm going to mix in just a touch of Citadel Lair Oosh Opti Bone. Not too much. Just a touch. touch. I'm going to mix it over on the side here. And what I want to do is get a slightly lighter color. And I'm going to do the underside. I'm also going to do a little bit on the underside of the wing. Not too much. Just lightens that up just a little bit. Get that off to the side for a minute. Size of these real quick. So now this is three layers of green on the wings and the belly, just to give it a little more depth. Cleaning my brush, sorry. I had to move some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do the back. I wanna do this black, so I'm gonna get my black. Citadel Base, Abaddon Black, my go-to black. 
and I got a big old number eight brush here. And now I am going to start paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to just get these center scales. I don't know why I wanted to have a black stripe. I just do. And that's the thing. You can do whatever you want when you paint. Don't let other people tell you what to do. Because uh, usually those people can't paint themselves. And even if they can paint themselves, they should let you be creative your way. Uh, I give my students a lot of leeway when it comes to their creativity, as long as they hit the, you know, the points that I'm trying to teach them, whatever the technique is, whether it's washes or 3D art or whatever the assignment is. A lot of leeway with how they get there but if they cover the topics then they're good to go and I give myself that same leeway and you should too back over the weekend and it's still really sore so I'm trying to I can't get comfortable okay yeah I know I'm getting old when I wake up and my back is just unbearably painful About there it stops. I have the boys are back going through my head. My daughter has decided that that is her favorite Dropkick Murphy song. We watched the new album release party on YouTube. Dropkick Murphys did a free live stream for their new album and we watched it. I let my daughter stay up late and she has requested that her first concert be Dropkick Murphys and as someone who has been listening to them since high school. I'm okay with that. Better than some other first concerts. My wife's first concert was Millie Vanilli. My first concert was Spin Doctors. Yeah. We were awesome in the 80s and 90s. the blackout I'm gonna go in there in mouth and really make sure I got the side of the mouth all right good clean my brush now I need a smaller brush because I'm going to do the eyes and I'm going to use a 2-0. Hopefully this is good enough. Okay, 
one. If you've seen my other videos, you know I always start eyes with black. Other people don't, I just do. It's a nice base to start on. Uh, whatever technique you choose is you know, what you should do. brush trying to figure out what my next one will be I'm gonna keep working with the black let's see let's go with this here it's a one Still working with the black. I'm going to do the nails. I'm going to start with the feet because they're easy. Hopefully I'm in the camera and you can see what I'm doing. One foot, another foot, and then the hands. Hoping the battery on my phone doesn't die. something you'd want to see I'd log in and paint live if you'd be interested in seeing that let me know probably wouldn't be something as big as this it would be something easier or maybe just a technique I really like painting jeans so maybe I'd live paint some jeans Feet. Done. Now as I'm moving it around, I'm seeing some spots. I gotta go back in and touch up the green. I'll do that at the end before I do my wash. Now I gotta do the fingernails. It's hard to see. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, do it. You get to hear me talk and you get to watch me paint or build or whatever I feel like doing that day. Uh, yeah, I'm never going to be YouTube famous, so don't worry about that. But I like to paint sometimes and if you can learn a thing or two, Learn the right way, learn the wrong way, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you're learning. Alright, now my 
to double check those. I got all the top surfaces of them. Now let's see, make sure I get the underneath surfaces of each nail. Same on this hand. Now there are a few places I'm going to go back in with that first green. I'm not worried about doing all the layers. Uh, it's more just kind of clean up. Put the black away for now. Going back to the Lauren Forest. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And for this cleanup, I'm just using a small two flat. It's just easy. All right. Done. I'm going to do the teeth and then I'm going to do the wash and then at the end I think I'll do the tongue and then that'll probably be it. to do the teeth in two layers. The first layer is always white. So this is Citadel Layer White Scar. I'm going to start with this. Can't get that song out of my head. There's one side. Flip it over. Sides if I can. That's good. Clean my brush. And I'm gonna hope that that dries pretty quick. So I went from the white 
And now what I'm going to do is put on a little of the Citadel Layer Screaming Skull. Kind of dirty them up a little bit. This is also more like a dry brush, so I'm not super worried about getting the teeth completely covered. Also not worried about any spots where I might be going over. Uh, I'll get a fine brush and fix that at the end before I do my wash in a minute. There's that. Okay. I'm going to use this same brush and I'm going to do a third layer. While that's still wet, I actually don't want this layer to dry before I do this. And I'm going to put the tiniest amount of yellow. Uh, and that is the Citadel layer flash gets yellow, just a tiny, tiny bit. To make them look a little dirty. go so there's the teeth now i gotta go back in and clean up any spots where i went outside the color so I'll get back to my lauren i can use this same brush and just go through and see any areas that look like they need to be touched up along the gum line not too bad all right good so there's that now i'm going to do the eye eyes i'm going to go back to the yellow again that's the citadel layer flash gets yellow get a little bit of that Hopefully this brush can get a fine enough tip. done I'm gonna go back to my black let's see if I can do this can't just a little slit there See if I can do on this side. There. Okay, I gotta pause for a minute. I gotta go get some paper towels for this next step. Be right back. Okay, so my battery is low and it may die while I'm filming this and there will be no way of me going back and fixing it so sorry if I if this video cuts off the next step is going to be the wash come on 
going to try to position it so that it'll stand. Sort of. Okay. The wash I'm going to use. I'm running on. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to use Citadel Shade Reichland Flesh Shade. Got a big number 12. And here we go. I hope it's showing up like you can see I hope you can see what the this is doing to the paint and how it changes changes things I like this one because it has like a red brown to it almost. Uh, it really helps with the colors on here. Makes the green really pop. side all right let's start with the legs I do want it standing. There's one leg. Let's get the other side. And like all washes, you know, how much you put on will change everything. And the, the heavier you put it on, the darker, well, the less you put on, the lighter. Uh, I'm kind of going pretty heavy with this. Oh, and I realized I forgot to do one of the claws. I gotta do the dew claws. Thankfully, they're black, so they don't really get changed much by these, by this wash. 
So I'm going to have to go back and do those. I'm going to do the arms. I'm going to do this arm first. Get it in here. Sorry, I know I'm getting in the way of the camera. I'm getting in the way of myself right now. All right. Let's do the undersides of the wings. Now, there may be someone watching this yelling at me about the way I'm doing this, although if they're yelling, they probably stopped watching a while ago. Do what works for you, right? Go for the effect you want. Practice with stuff. That's why I like the Final Faction figures. You've seen I've done a few videos of those because they're dollar figures, so I really can't screw them up. All right, I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to do these wing sections. side of that one in a minute. Looks like my phone is still recording. That's good. All right, put that down to the underside of this wing. There we go, underside. Now, like I said in the beginning, these big figures always intimidate me. Um, big creatures and things. I don't do a lot of the six inch figures or anything. But I do like creatures and they can be intimidating, but all in all, just over an hour 
when you're all is said and done. So it's been just over an hour and you know, not too bad. I do say so myself. Let's do this wing. Now I gotta let this dry. I'll put it all together, take a few pictures, uh, go from there. You know what? Can see some spots that could use a little bit more wash. Now I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see what happens. Looking for places where there might be a little too much pooling, pulling that out. Looks good. So this will dry, probably be ready in an hour or so. I'll take pictures, get it all put together and uh, post it up for you. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint something a little different. Came out pretty good. Take it easy. Have a good night.